Hey everyone, what's going on? Jim here from Grassroots Piano. So I'm really excited to get into this chord progression and it's going to help you with your timing and coordination between the hands. That's a common problem that many piano enthusiasts have. And this is what this channel is all about, helping you get your coordination down, chords down, so you can play your favorite songs and pieces. By the way, before I forget, really important shout out, super thanks to Arlene for your support, as well as Michelle, Mike and Karen. Thank you so much. Karen just purchased some sheet music with rhythm patterns and she's on her way to get more independence. Thank you again. Without you guys, it's really hard to do this. So let's begin. Hand position time. The right hand, we're going to have C minor. We're going to play the second inversion. And then we're going to go to G minor. Then we're going to go to A flat major. And then F minor. And all these notes, the chords that I'm using, the four chords, correspond to this key. So we're going to start on a one chord. And the first rhythm pattern, I'm going to demonstrate it just for four bars, and I'm going to go slow, and then I'll break it down. Here I go. One, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one. Two and three and four and all right a few things if you notice I'm counting out loud and I'm subdividing the eighth note that's the smallest increment we're going to use in this lesson if you subdivide that think vertically feel the music vertically and horizontally that will help you line up I also wanted to talk about a viewer mentioned recently about the pedaling and sometimes everything seems muddled together all right so pedaling is a whole different concept however a few things you want to do is go slower and be really deliberate when you're hearing the sound cut off. So I'm going to just jump into this real quick because I forgot to mention this last video. One, two, and three, four, and. And then you want to stop and listen to the sound. And by the way, every piano, every pedal is different. Uh, my wife's grand piano downstairs has been around for a long time, so that pedal is very loose and you have to listen to it and get it dialed in. So another way of thinking about it is you're going one, two and three and four and one two and three and four and one so some newer learners like to pedal a little before the next phrase if that is throwing you off definitely just get into the correct hands with timing that's really important let's go ahead and talk about this part where we're just doing quarter notes in the right hand and then so that's on the and of two so i believe i go one two and three, four, one, two and three, four. So it's not that hard, but when I start adding other patterns and we speed it up, that will really test how well you know it. Pattern two, I do this a lot, really not too difficult, but it's really important to get into this, is to go ahead and switch the rhythm around. So now the quarter notes are in the left hand. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four a flat one two three four and one two and three four and then i would suggest take pattern one and two and mix them up a little bit here's an example so i have them down really well so i'm playing one two three that's pattern two uh one i'm sorry three four and one two three four one two three four and one two three four one Two and I accent a little bit on that upbeat. One and two and three, four and one, two, three, four. Try to do that segue into it because music, the accompaniment patterns break up, they change depending on the phrasing. So it's really beneficial not just to try to sync things up and then try to get it a bit organic. All right, so the next pattern, a lot of fun here. The right hand's gonna get busy, so I'm just gonna demonstrate that. We're gonna go arpeggiate, run. Four, and then G minor, three, four, and A flat, three, four, and one. I'm gonna go slower and demonstrate both hands. Here I go, three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, 
three and four and one, two, three and four, and then it repeats. And I'll play it a little faster so you get an idea. By the way, did you catch a teeny mistake I made? Feel free to put it in the comments if you're listening, you can catch it. Here I go, one and two and, and four and one and two, three and four and one, two, three, four and one and two and three and four and and then repeat it. And you notice I gave it a little crescendo at the end, that's being really musical. You're adding a crescendo, kind of a breath, getting ready for the next phrase. And so the next one I really like, and I was playing this the other day and a friend told me it sounded like um, part of a Game of Thrones soundtrack, I guess when there's a, the piano part in there. Um, so go figure, I'm, this is beneficial because now what I'm doing is just doing the outer notes. So I had this one, right, for pattern three. So here I go, pattern four, the right hand's just gonna go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and, and I will slow it down. Here I go, three, and four, and one, two, three, 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 and four, and one, as I was playing, I was thinking, a student was saying to me, does it always have to go that way? Definitely take your time, jam, and practice it. So no, you can go, I was demonstrating here, but also back this way. One, two, three, four, and two, three, four, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and all right, now the next one has a bit more of a fuller sound and it's still eighth notes. And I I'll throw this one in here, pattern five, just to get you going. Uh, it's a bit busier and I'm gonna demonstrate. We have one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and two, three, four, and. All right, so now I'll go slow so you can hear the subdivision. One, and two, and three, four and one two three and four and one two three four and one two three four and all right i just thought of this when i'm playing my brain works really fast sometimes and too many things at once i'm gonna play a pattern and i want to see if you can tell which one i'm playing or maybe i'll mix it up and feel free to share your thoughts in the comments and if you like in the content you know what to do hit the like button all right so i'm gonna play a little bit it could be just pattern one could be pattern one and pattern four it could be pattern one or none of the above i'll go ahead and play a little bit here i go So I mixed it up and got carried away. Let me know how many patterns did you hear. That's a really good ear training thing to do. And once you get the patterns down, mix it up because that will help you with phrasing. A lot of different patterns happen when you're playing songs. I think the next time, let me know if you're interested, I am going to put myself out there. I'm gonna go ahead and play some chords and do some basic singing because that's good ear training. And that's a lot of fun because that's our main goal. That's why it's an accompaniment part, rhythm patterns. So let me know if, what you think. I'll probably do it anyway. We'll see. Until next time, take care. Happy practicing.